Good afternoon, small world preschool cappers. Mrs. Everhart again, sending you the second and our last craft for today, which is still around the topic of kites. So here's your master, which I sent in an email with Mrs. Stein. And there's also a picture of the supplies that you'll need to do the craft today, but I will go over that again with you right now. So you need some colored paper, we're keeping with the sky theme, so if you have blue paper, great. Any color will do. It's, that's totally fine. Uh, you also need to have another piece of paper of which you make a gigantic K. We're going to cut that out together. You need some scissors, and I know you guys, my cappers, can cut. You also need the master for the kite, which also was sent in the email, that has the diamond, which you cut out, and the little bow ties, which we're going to use as our master. So I have my diamond and I have my little bow ties. And we're gonna put them up against some scrapbooking supplies. Could be colored paper, whatever it is you like to use. I have some scrapbooking supplies, so I'm gonna use those today. But again, just use whatever crafts you have at home. Okay, so to begin, we have to take our gigantic letter K because we're going to decorate it for our kite. So we're gonna take our scissors, and I know my cappers cannot let me down, so they're gonna cut out the K themselves with their safety scissors, like Mrs. Everhart is doing right now. I'm cutting the letter K out, just like this. Picked a nice bright color green for springtime, and also so that it pops up against that blue background, which is our sky. Okay, I'm just done here. Guys are gonna need to sharpen on your, um, cutting skills because you're going to be going off to kindergarten so you're going to need to be pretty good with the handy dandy scissors okay so here we go almost done We're on the tail end of our k here and one more snip and we'll be good to go all right boys and girls here's our letter k so i'm going to take my craft glue and i'm going to just put some glue on the back of my k so i can have it, oh, I guess I didn't open it all the way up. I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna glue it so that it could stick onto my blue paper. So after you put some glue on the back of your paper K, you're gonna stick it on your paper, just like that. Okay, all right, boys and girls, we're on to our next step, which if you look at the master, it's to take your diamond. Now you could take this and you can color it uh, watercolors, you can paint it, you can use crayons, colored pencils. I'm going to take some blue paper. I'm going to put my master up against the blue paper and I'm going to cut it out just like this. So take your kite pattern, which I've sent everyone in the email. Oops, oh, what am I doing? Hmm? <laughs> Don't drop your paper like Mrs. Everhart. <laughs> and just follow the master on the pattern and you will presto change -o, have your beginnings of a kite. So take your craft glue now that you've cut out the kite diamond, put some craft glue on it, put it on the edge of the K, just like that, okay? Okay, and then I'm gonna suggest that you take a black pen, marker, crayon, colored pencil, whatever, because we're going to draw in the tail. Okay, we're going to draw in the tail and we're going to put our little fabric little things on it. So you're going to take this, you're going to do like a swirl, you're going to come down around, do another swirl. Take these two hands here. And there you go. All right. So you have your tail. Now you're going to take on the pattern for some little bow ties, which are the parts that go on the kite tail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up with a piece of your scrapbook paper or colored paper, whatever you'd like to do. Take your scissors and just cut the pattern out, okay? So I'm just gonna cut the big piece off so I have a littler piece to work with. So I'm gonna cut my bow tie out. I'm gonna follow the pattern your scissors, and I know you guys can do this. Just take your scissor 
and follow the pattern. You've laid the pattern on top of your colored paper as a master. And when you are done cutting, you have your little bow tie. Okay? So you're going to take your craft glue. You're going to put a little glue on it. And you're going to put your bow tie on your tail. Just like that. All right. So I have another. I had that same blue paper that I made here. So I can take another master bow tie right here and I could put it on my paper and I can cut out my bow tie against this blue paper. And we're going to see, oops, how that came out. Take your time. There's never any rush. Almost done. Got one more snip. And I'm going to have a blue part to put on my kite tail. So there's my blue little bow tie. I'm going to put my craft glue on it. And I'm going to put my little bow tie right on my kite. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my master bow tie. I'm going to put it on the paper like this, and I'm going to follow the guide for cutting, the master bow tie guide. I'm going to make four, so this is my third one, if anybody's counting. This is my third master bow tie, which is going to become a part of my kite tail, so there is another piece, I'm going to put a little grasp craft glue on the back, like this, and I want to put it maybe right there, eh, maybe over here, and I'll put one right there. So what should we use? Hmm, I'm going to use this last piece, it's like American flag, so maybe we could do that. Here's my master, my master bow tie, let's do it on this side. Take my scissors, I'm going to use my pattern, my bow tie master, cut it out like this. It's just two triangles really is what it is put together to make sort of like an hourglass shape or a bow tie, whichever you think it looks like to you. There's my bow tie, okay, put some craft glue on the back. Put it oh, right about there. Okay, so boys and girls, there's your K for kite. There's your kite. There's your tail. And there is your kite tail bow tie. So boys and girls, at home, when you do it, you absolutely, if you don't have, you know, some scrapbooking supplies, which is totally fine, you can use colored paper. You can use crayons. You can use... Uh, colored pencils and you could take the master the kite pattern and you can color these in cut them out and put them on your paper so there you go there's your second and last kite craft for the day have fun creating and don't forget to send us your creation in an email to mrs. Stein and mrs. Everhart have a great sunny afternoon see you real soon cappers bye bye <laughs>